You don't know that syphilis is a complicated sexually transmitted disease, right? Let's get into the video. You're welcome to Simple Health Tips and Facts, where issues of health is being discussed every Friday. Syphilis is a bacterial infection usually spread by sexual contact. The disease starts as a painless sore, basically on the genitals, rectum, or mouth. Syphilis spreads from person to person via skin or mucous membrane contact with these sores. After the initial infection, the syphilis bacteria can remain inactive in the body for decades before becoming active again. Any syphilis can be cured sometimes with a single shot, that's injection of penicillin. Why is it more complicated? Syphilis develops in stages and symptoms don't always occur in the same order. You may be infected with syphilis without noticing any symptoms for years. So for these stages, we have the primary syphilis, which involves the breaking out of a small painless sore that's chancre. They may be hidden in the vagina or rectum that heals on its own within three to six weeks. We also have the secondary syphilis within a few weeks after the sore healing. You may start experiencing rashes that covers the entire body, hair loss, fever, sore throat, sores in the mouth, and genital area, which also disappears within a few weeks and go for as long as a year. We also have the tertiary syphilis. About 15% to 30% of people infected with syphilis who don't get treatment will develop a complication known as tertiary syphilis. In the late stage, the disease may cause neurosyphilis, which causes damage to the brain, eyes, and nervous system. We also have the congenital syphilis. The syphilis affects babies in the womb, through the placenta, or during the birth of an infected mother. And this can lead to deafness, teeth deformities, saddle nose, that's breach in the nose, still death, that's still birth, that's death before birth, after birth, or in the womb. So, stay protected. Thanks for watching. Please drop your questions in the comment section. And if you've learned something from today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button.